Now, boys and girls, I probably, like many of you, grew up on the 90s Power Rangers television shows. It was something that was absolutely a huge part of my childhood, and maybe you didn't even grow up on the 90s ones. Maybe you caught some of the other later editions as this Power Rangers obviously grew up and grew older than teenagers and had to end up going on to do other things. And, of course, they decided to change the character roster up, and we got new versions of the Power Rangers with new powers and new origin stories and all kinds of other things going on throughout the history. And there was always a little bit of a passing of the torch kind of thing going on throughout the generations and passing of those mantles of Power Rangers. It was something that was really good, something a lot of kids lots of kids enjoyed. I know I had two tons of the toys, obviously. Tommy, the Green Ranger, later on the White Ranger, and then later on the Black Ranger in the Dino series was something that was really great. This is something I introduced my kid to with like the Dino Rangers, and it was a really great time. We had a lot of fun. It's something that I absolutely loved and is a very cherished part of my childhood. Well, boys and girls, color us shocked there because according to the latest rumors, the Power Rangers reboot is going to be woke, female, and LGBT characters all the way. Color us shocked there, boys and girls. And there was a time period because of what some of the stuff that had been said about Saban in the past and some of their opinions on things and some of the other viewpoints that I thought this might be one of the few places that, of course, things wouldn't go woke. But, of course, this mind virus, this cult, act, these acolytes of the cult have absolutely infected every single thing. And now they're even going to turn Power Rangers into a bunch of woke reboot nonsense. So let's check out this article from CosmicBookNews.com. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Potential leaks over an offer. Netflix may be taking the last Jedi approach to Tommy and the Power Rangers. Oh, yay. Rumors surface for a reboot involving the Power Rangers on Netflix, which sounds woke as a majority of the team is said to be made up of female and LGBT characters. LGBTQ characters. Back in 2020, The Hollywood Reporter reported Jonathan Entwessel, Netflix's It's the End of the Fucking World, and I'm not okay with this. Boy, those sound like great, positive, shiny shows that should be made, that should, somebody made responsible for headlines like that should make a children's show. I'm sure this is going to go real well. Is developing a new live-action Power Rangers show for Hasbro. The reboot is said to be produced by Jenny Klein, who produced Daisy Jones and The Six, The Thing About Pam, The Witcher, oh, yay! TikTok, Cloak and Dagger, and Jessica Jones. So what are we going to get an adult, more edgy, more woke version of it with all the representation? Because it's not like Power Rangers in the Americas wasn't very representative to begin with. It's not like they didn't have an Asian and a black guy and a nerd. and I, But of course, it wasn't their version, so that's not enough because you didn't have any more LGBTQ Presentation in a kid's show. A kid's show. Oh, boy. Here we go. I told you. I got you. Tommy, Luciana, Derek, Aubrey, Vanessa. The Power Rangers working title. Jonathan Enswell will direct and the script. Clients still producing. Each episode will be an hour long. Oh, it's going to be an Elseworld story. That's what's going to make it all okay. So what are the rumors? According to the Twitter user, Jasanka, via the Legacy of Nerd YouTube channel, the Nerd, the new Power Rangers project will be a reboot set outside the normal Power Rangers universe, something like an Elseworlds multiverse story. The details include the working title for the show is simply The Power Rangers. And for the first time, the team will be mostly female characters. Yay! Women power go! So original. Oh, so original. Because, you know, nobody's done that to a reboot in anything in the last 20 years. Ghostbusters 2016, Lord of the Rings, everything else out there. The Witcher, which of course is somebody that's involved in this too, so it makes sense. Making it up, the team is said to include Tommy, the Green Ranger, Luciana, the Red Ranger, oh, Luciana now, Derek, the Blue Ranger, Aubrey, the Yellow Ranger, and Vanessa, the Pink Ranger. So now we have two dudes and three chicks versus three dudes and two chicks. Totally makes sense. Only Tommy is said to be from the original show. Again, a rebooted multiverse version with four other characters new. Now, of course, that's not going to work because as we all know and are very saddened about, Jason David Frank is no longer with us. The guy who was a huge fan favorite, who was the only guy that continued to be the consistent, constant part of the Power Rangers ser series time and time again, was always willing to come back, was an all-around just great guy and had a very tragic ending because there's some very horrendous things going on in his life. It is an absolute tragedy and is an absolute abysmal affront to any original Power Rangers fan out there, especially those of us that loved Jason David Frank and his character Tommy, to even think about trying to reboot him. 
trust me, to Power Rangers fans, this is just as bad as trying to recast Brandon Lee in that new Crow reboot that they've got going on out there right now. Ha! Tommy was, of course, played by the late Jason David Frank, so that means that they are recasting the Green Ranger for the new Netflix series. Further details include that Tommy will initially be the leader, but will end up betraying the team, said to come back on the team towards the end of the season. Oh, oh, you mean a rehash of the Green Ranger's origin story? He first, he was friends with everybody, and then he became evil, and then he eventually he turned back to being good and became a valued member of the team. Oh, wow. So original. Color me shocked. It was originally Mighty Morphin Power Rangers core colors, but later black got switched for green to make the green the leader and focus of the team. Oh, so now we're not even getting a black one. A previous description of the cast said that either the blue or yellow ranger would be LGBTQ, so that would mean that Derek or Aubrey could be LGBTQ to go along with the mostly female cast and with Tommy potentially being a bad guy. What do you want to bet? It probably will end up being both of them, or at least Aubrey. If she's a very pretty girl, she's definitely probably going to be gay. Additional details include which episode will be an hour long, the series will be set in Angel Grove, and the series will feature new suits. It claimed that Hasbro wants to start filming in 2025, and this is the same draft that they've had for the past couple of years. And because we know Hasbro is clearly a company that has completely been totally taken over and infected by the woke mind virus, and none of this should come as a shock to any of us out there in any way, shape, or form. My, how the mighty has fallen. Obviously, consider all of this rumor, but similar to what Disney did with Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi and Kevin Smith into He-Man, it sounds like they are doing something similar with Tommy and the Green Rangers. By interjecting their agenda into the content and making a fan-favorite character the bad guy about all about female empowerment! Yay! Because I guarantee you, it's going to be one of the female Rangers, probably, actually, no, it's going to be the female LGBTQ Ranger that steps up and takes the lead. Because, of course, it won't be a male LGBTQ lead to stand up and take the lead because they can't have a male do that, even if they are LGBTQP, even if they are gay, even if they do, you know, consume the flesh of other males. Um, it's one of them situations where color a shock there. That wouldn't be enough. That's why I think it's probably going to be the female because, of course, just like just like the parody from South Park and what Kathleen Kennedy has done, they're going to put a chick in it and they're going to make her lame and gay. And that's exactly who's going to be the new leader of the Power Rangers going forward. And what I promise you, Hasbro is going to do everything they can to make the primary universe and the primary sense of the Power Rangers universe going forward. And it's going to be nothing more than representation in what should be a children's entertainment show. But of course, no, 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 they can't do that. They're going to have to destroy and devastate all of our favorite childhood brands that have ever come before because we can't have heroes anymore. No, 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 no. And not unless they suck dick, eat, eat carpet, or of course are something that is anything other than white. That is the state of the current modern Hollywood, and that is definitely the state of Hasbro and every single thing they have touched or gotten their grimy hands on it. And Power Rangers is just the latest to go down in flames as another more of a reboot, which is going to be nothing more than a go-woke, go-broke situation, and it couldn't have happened to a better company.